But it's not for everybody. It takes some courage to do this. It takes some courage to break free from traditions. It takes courage to break free from the paradigms that are so well established in, in our culture and society. It's, I, many times people said, oh, that's just weird. I, I, yeah, I guess for you it's weird, that's fine. Each person is entering the densest, the outer crust of the universe, gaining personal experience. The time it takes to evolve doesn't matter because we're immortal. It really sounds crazy, but it doesn't matter. We have choices to make. Some people choose to accelerate their learning. Some people choose to learn to become more multidimensional. And most people don't even know it exists. So, OBEs is a spiritual practice. I'm covering this very quickly. This, to me, is one of the most important topics. Here we are at the bottom in our physical body. Yogis have been doing this forever. But what are they doing? They're, they're transitioning. They're shifting consciousness between, from their outer vehicle of consciousness to their inner vehicle of consciousness. And this is the path, that the universal path to our higher self or to source or whatever you want to call it, whatever term you give it. Everyone is essentially, whether it be meditation, any kind of inner journeying you do, I don't care if you're using ayahuasca or you're meditating daily, the direct path is to our essence and to the answers we seek are all within us. They're not found in a book. I'm one of the few authors I've written four books. And I'm still saying it's about the books are to give you the, some of the guidance you may need to develop your own skills to have your own experience. That's the purpose of the books. And we are always shifting our consciousness inward. Every night when you fall asleep, you're entering into an altered state of consciousness. For a, a third of your entire life, you are shifting. Guess what I and others have seen? The floating body, to me, looked like the real body. And the physical body looked like the illusionary body. Because I was already, I was, you can only perceive what is in phase with your vibrational state. That's the only reality to you. Reality is relative to the vibrational state of the observer and participant. So, same thing, I write about my dog following me during an out-of-body experience. I could even see what some people would call the silver cord of the animal. Same evolutionary cycle, just a different body, as far as I can tell. 